All right, Dean, thanks. And now to more on that deadly bridge collapse, as Dean just mentioned. These are some live pictures here from the scene on Southwest 8th Street and 109th Avenue. Crews have been working around the clock, cleaning up debris, and now making some major progress. Those crews have cleared out four of the eight lanes that were covered by tons of concrete. And this comes as classes are set to resume today on the campus of FIU. And as we get word of the first lawsuit being filed, CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez is live at the scene with the very latest on the victims, the investigation, and the cleanup. Maribel. Oh, good morning. We're here on 8th Street and 117th Avenue. As earlier mentioned, 8th Street remains closed from 117th Avenue to 107th Avenue as crews have been working around the clock clearing all the debris. Meanwhile, FIU officials are standing by the families who've lost their loved ones in the tragedy. The president of Florida International University is calling for silence for six. We'll have a moment of silence at 1.47 p.m. Please join us wherever you are and keep the victims and the families in your thoughts. We've seen others stop to take those moments in here with Miami-Dade officials head down and palms crossed. This happened a total of six times for each person pulled from the rubble. All of FIU mourns, but we're reminded of the fragility of our lives and the limits of our time here. It's a small piece of a powerful message he sent out less than 24 hours before students return to school. Think of the incompetence that, you know, put this whole thing together. That's the uncle of Alexa Duran, an FIU student who was studying political science. Her body was recovered on Saturday. For the first time, we heard from Chelsea Brownfield, the wife of Brandon Brownfield, a son, husband, and father. She wrote this heartfelt message on her Facebook. It's a pretty magical thing to find your soulmate in this world. Like pieces to a jigsaw puzzle are crazy, curvy edges matched and we fit together like no one else could. Please keep us in your prayers as I now have to find the words and the answers to tell my girls that their daddy is not coming home. While many are trying to find a sense of normalcy, Crews still have a job to do. They've been working around the clock to fix the road and clear the scene while they've made significant progress. Motorists should start preparing now for travel into the area on Monday morning and the upcoming week. Motorists should plan to leave early, seek alternate routes to their destinations, and most importantly, exercise patience. And again, lots of traffic today in this area as FIU students head back to class uh, for the first time since sp spring break. Now, here's uh, what the scene looks like on 8th Street and 117th Avenue. As you can see, the road completely blocked off to 107th Avenue. The entrance to FIU, you can um, enter FIU from 107th Avenue and 16th Street or 117th Avenue and 17th Street. There are plenty of detour signs. Also, they're encouraging all students to carpool. Keep in mind, turn out Turnpike eastbound ramp for 8th Street is also closed. Meanwhile, we're also hearing about the first lawsuit, an attorney filing the first lawsuit on behalf of one of the victims injured in this tragedy. We'll hear much more um, from that attorney out of Orlando this afternoon. We're live in Southwest Miami-Dade. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS4 This Morning.